the ancestral soul is, is, is just that space where I can just produce African music mixed with any sort of style that I want. Should I say African drums mixed with electronic music for the most part and uh, bring soul to it, you know. Um, on top of that, as a DJ, of course, you know, I dressed with, I dressed with my, you know, with my African prints, with my necklaces, I burned the incense, I smoked my cigar as a way to connect with my father who passed away two years ago. It's all about being proud of, of where we come from. I mean, I see myself as a citizen of the world, but I see myself as an African first and foremost. So I think that ancestral soul, in a way, has given an opportunity for those who probably don't feel like Afro beats or Afro house doesn't necessarily represent the, you know, just the vast wealth of this music. But I think as an African, you know, we have to really, really understand that, you know, it's great to see ourselves as, you know, Ivorian, Nigerian, Central African, Kenyan, etc. That's a fantastic. But I think we need to really bring it back to the whole a fundamental Pan-Africanism vision, which is fantastic. In Africa, we need to acknowledge that music is a very, very important source of income and art in general. And there needs to be some action taken. I don't want to sit in the soaking rain no more, I'm sure. Give me that door. Central African Republic, as any other countries, has the potential to really, really overcome poverty and all these uh, terrible things that we, uh, we know of but not and, and, and not be a victim of it anymore but be an actor of the change through art and music.